Less than seven weeks ago, the tide began to turn. Women stepping forward with their stories of sexual assault and harassment were believed, and the world took notice. It all started with this story from the New York Times about Harvey Weinstein, the movie producer accused of sexual assault and harassment. This story published October 5th. Three days later, he was fired from the company he co-founded. Well, today, CBS, PBS, and Bloomberg firing Charlie Rose amid sex assault allegations against the longtime journalist. Rose's firing coming just hours after this reaction from his CBS This Morning co-hosts. This is a moment that demands a frank and honest assessment about where we stand and more generally the safety of women. I think we have to make this matter to women, the women that have spoken up, the women who have not spoken up because they're afraid. I'm hoping that now they will take the step to speak out too. The Washington Post sharing this story yesterday about eight women accusing Rose of sexual harassment with nudity, groping and lewd calls. A short time after it broke, one of the reporters behind the exclusive tweeted, sadly, my inbox is already flooded with women who have had similar disturbing encounters with Charlie Rose. Rose issuing a statement saying in part, it is essential that these women know I hear them and that I deeply apologize for my inappropriate behavior. I am greatly embarrassed. I have behaved insensitively at times and I accept responsibility for that, though I do not believe that all of these allegations are accurate. New stories breaking about other men accused of sexual misconduct. BuzzFeed reporting Democrat John Conyers, the longest serving member of the House of Representatives, settled a wrongful dismissal complaint in 2015 using his office budget with a former employee who says she was fired for not succumbing to his sexual advances. Conyers is now acknowledging his office has settled a harassment complaint, but denies the allegations against him. And an update about Al Frank and the senator accused of forcibly kissing and groping a woman, prompting calls for an ethics committee investigation. Well, now 36 women who work with Franken during his time at Saturday Night Live signing this open letter offering solidarity and support of their former colleague, saying we would like to acknowledge that not one of us ever experienced any inappropriate behavior. Like I mentioned, we're less than seven weeks into the Weinstein effect, but I wanted to highlight something in that letter from the 36 women who said they wanted to mention our sincere appreciation that he, Al Franken, treated each of us with the utmost respect and regard. Now, is respect and regard from a man something women need to sincerely appreciate, or should it simply be the expectation?